Leo, what it goddamn be, yo? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vibra. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for the 2020 show me the money new year energy yes god yes baby we are here to find out what's going on for january 2020 did you guys have a good new year's leo i already know y'all did the damn thing you already know how y'all shut down the place all right with all that royal energy coming through all right boo yes so listen if you're new to this channel thank you so much for clicking this video make sure that you like share and subscribe if you want to book a personal and private video um video reading with me only thing you need to do is connect with me on instagram and book with me on my booking page so all of those connections all of those links as well as if you want to send some support to the page you can support by the amazon wish list you can support by cash app or paypal if any of these videos resonate um first off the way that you support is by clicking the like button other than that if the spirit moves you and you want to do something additional all of those links or if you want to book all of those links are in the about tab if you have any questions about booking with me or if you just want to talk to me or tell me hey res this resonated blah 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 and you didn't want to put the information in the comment section you can always send me a message on instagram or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com i do do video readings which we use the instagram video chat link to conduct our video readings now if you do not have Instagram you can do video chat or communication with me through Google Hangouts and just use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again that's scorpionreds at gmail.com all right now all of that is out of the way let's pray <laughs> okay now all of that is out of the way let's pray real quick and get into this energy and see what um, you know God and spirit has for us for January 2020. We are most definitely thankful to be in this new, uh, this new year's energy. So, Father God, we thank you right now as we witness the blessings of that 2020. Show me the money, energy, Father God. This is the year of showing and knowing, Father God. Um, this is the test of the time for people to really, really show us their worth in our life, Father God. Um, I'm going to say it once, and I damn sure ain't going to say it twice. Um, we not repeating ourselves this year, Father God. We're standing firm in our convictions. We know exactly what we want. We know exactly what it feels like that we want to experience, and we're determined to get to it. Like, this is the year that's going to show and prove our victory, you know? So this is the year of the receiving, you know? Literally, show me the money, oh, baby. It is the time. So, Father God, we thank you so much because we're feeling victorious already. And, oh, my goodness, it has just begun. <laughs> so, Father, we're claiming victory now right here as we stand. And we thank you so much for um, just being proud and honorable and just feeling safe, you know, in our convictions and in our wants and our needs for our destination of our life's purpose. So continue to walk through our life, Father God. Give us guidance and give us clarity and give us wisdom for today and every day. And thank you so much for all the guidance that you've given us in the past, present, and future, Father God. Please give us Leos. You already know what it be. Give us guidance for January 20. All right, let's get into it. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So I want to give a shout out to all my babies that has sent support through the Amazon wish list. We will be using today um, the Archetypes uh, Oracle deck here. This was sent through the Amazon wish list as well. This was sent to me on my birthday. This is becoming one of my favorite decks, the In Between Tarot deck. I actually got this when it first dropped, the first week that it dropped. So y'all are the freaking best thank you guys this like when i seen this for my birthday i almost cried so thank you guys so very much for loving and supporting me and just sticking in with me and watching my channel grow so let's get into this leo give me guidance for my leos for january 2020 all right show me the money energy what we got for my leos uh-oh the dead end oh gnosis the box the dead end. The box. Gnosis. 
the storm. What in the fuck? We not starting off like that. What's under this deck? The mentor. Okay. So, I feel like there's someone in your life that you could be mentoring right now. It might have reached a dead end with you. And I feel like it's with you. I feel like someone's reached a dead end with you. Um, you feel a little boxed in, a little caged in. And I feel you are trying to take the mental approach. You are trying to give this person guidance before all else fails. Because this is the calm before the storm. So let me take this. this. And then we got the sword coming after this. I'm trying to tell you, Leo will cut this person out. So it's like I'm trying to mentor you. I want you to listen. Because I'm feeling a little boxed in. I'm feeling a little caged in right now. And this is going to the road to nowhere. Quick. One thing about a Leo. Leo likes to roam free. Leo likes their freedom. You know? Leos do not like to be boxed or caged and they do not like to be told what to do. And they damn sure don't like no one coming around them acting like they being victimized. <laughs> and I don't even know why I said that, but clearly that must have resonated with somebody like someone constantly complaining like they're being victimized in some way. And it's like they're trying to box and cage the Leo in with some level of demands the gnosis the gnosis right the gnosis is the unknowing the thing that people got to understand about this leo and what this leo is trying to explain to this person is about the gnosis about the unknowing last year because y'all y'all understand my my journey and, and, and what i've my group of Leos, what their journey was on this page. If you want to know what it is, you're going to have to go back a little bit and watch. But it's been this ongoing journey. And I'm I, I'm not going to go all the way into it. But one thing I can say, from what I've experienced for reading for Leos um, since I've been on YouTube is... Last year was a year... 2018 was... I think the end of 2018 was real crazy. They really took a hold of their life and got a grip and have a sense of control over their steering wheel in 19. 2020 is just show me the money. Like, like I, I was learning how to drive last year. Like, I got this shit this year. So you ain't even... So, it's like the gnosis. Leo is not scared of the unknowing. They experienced walking into the unknown into 19. They were going through something in 18 that was... They experienced the storm in 18. 19 was the takeover. That's when they realized what that they had to do from the inside to have it be expressed on the out. The inside out. You got to start to work from the inside in order for that energy to to be demonstrated outward and you to get that Im that energy back so leo went through the storm already they're not scared of walking into the unknowing and that's why leo is trying to explain to this person and try to mentor him like listen you understand maybe if this was like two three years ago maybe all of this that you're doing right here or all of this that's going on Maybe I would have let it slide. Maybe I would have entertained it. Maybe I would have put up with it. But after I went through the transition that I went through with 18 going into 19. And now I'm in my 2020 show me the money season. Baby, I'm not scared of just throwing everything to the wind. And walking off on faith and walking into the unknowing. I'm not scared of that anymore. Do you understand? So... Leo is trying to explain this to someone and trying to mentor them to so that there, there could be some level of smooth sailing with them and that things can kind of 
go the way that it should go for the both of them. Otherwise, y'all are at the calm before the storm. And I don't know if this person realizes it, but that's what Leo has been trying to tell this person, baby. This is the calm before the storm with me. Because you you are vastly approaching a dead end quickly. And I'm advising you to stop. You got me boxed into a cage. I don't like being boxed in the cage. And when I'm boxed in the cage, that shows me I need to go ahead and venture out into the unknown. Because I would rather release myself from this tension before the storm starts pouring down see leo's learned a long time ago i'd rather venture to the unknown and avoid the storm than to stay here and to get poured on you know what i'm saying uh-uh no ma'am mm -mm. so let's get some clarification let's get some clarification What's going on for my Leos in January 2020? Okay, give me guidance for my Leos. Leo. Queen of Cups. Okay, girl. And this Queen of Cups car, it's like her man is like standing in the... St okay, girl. Yes. But it's like this is in the... This is in the reverse. Hold on, you guys. Let me close the door. So this Queen of Cups... It is snowing like I don't know what outside. This Queen of Cups card is in the reverse. So with this being said, in this deck, I really do feel like the Queen of Cups is like the backbone of her man. It's like she kind of plays. I mean, and that is very much so the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is someone that... Her man goes out there, works hard, takes care of everything. He comes home to a loving, nurturing environment. She cooks, she cleans, she washes his feet. She loves him. She nurtures him. She gives him advice. She, I mean, she does all of that stuff. Like, she lets her man be a man. She lets her man feel the man. She don't try to, like, outsmart him like a queen of swords or uh try to outwork them or you know uh show her man how athletic she is and and, and, and how um driven she is and how passionate she is like <laughs> a feisty king of wands you know or even intimidate her man by her financial gains with the queen of pentacles you know what i'm saying it's that Queen of Cups energy, she gives her man some level of emotional stability. And she lets her man stand in the front. And she sits in the back. She takes care of the home. Takes care of the children. She lets her man, you know, sit front and center. But for some reason, this Queen of Cups is in the reverse. So you guys could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio, female. Um, the Queen of Cups in the reverse is someone that's emotionally sensitive. She's very sensitive, cries a lot, clingy. Um, she might be emotionally controlling or manipulative. Um, like I'm serious, like a crier, like... This person may know that you seeing a woman cry gets to you and she knows that's all she got to do to kind of get you boxed in where she wants you. You know what I'm saying? Boxed in. That box. And I, and right now, I, I feel like a dead end is vastly approaching here. You're quickly venturing into the unknowing. Into that guy, like your mind is drifting. Like, what if I didn't have to be here? 
You know what I'm saying? I don't think that y'all even have kids with each other. The nine of coins in the reverse. You feel like you're... You feel like you're being... Financially drained. You feel like you're being financially drained. And I'm also getting this too. This could be a woman... That's going through some type of. This could be some woman. If you're a Leo woman. You could be going through something with. You could be going through something. It's seven of coins in the reverse. It's like you're not getting your investment. You're not getting your return back. That's that's exact. Okay, so listen. And I don't want to talk about like no drug dealing, no street shit or nothing like that. But the nine of coins could represent like a criminal, like a criminal mastermind or something like that. Like someone that lives in the underworld. Do you un? <laughs> My watch with these clarifications and all of the stuff like that. So hold on. This like someone at my door. Who at my door? Anyway. So. What I'm getting here is. If you're dealing with someone that kind of deals with the street life and things like that, um, this person could have been reaching a dead end in whatever their little run on the street is with this nine of coins here. This nine of coins in the reverse can represent, like I said, someone that kind of lives in the underworld that's in the street life. That's like a gang leader or a gang enforcer or something like that. Someone that's like a... A robber or a thief that, you know, like a criminal mastermind or something like that. Some woman could be ex experiencing time, some type of pain and sorrow because their man could be in the box and there's a dead end to their relationship. And like you're realizing that you're having to take a step into the unknowing. And it's like you're emotionally distraught because you want to cling on to this situation. But I feel like the time is up. In this situation, like whatever money that y'all had ran dry, whatever you were trying to invest in this situation, like you invested more than you ended up getting back. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could have put a lot in this situation only for this man's lifestyle because of the type of life that he's living. He done fucked around and got locked up and now you don't got nothing. So it's like you did all of that shit for nothing. And it's like with this seven of coins being in the reverse, it's like I'm not really getting no investment or no return back in it. So I don't see myself being patient and waiting for you to get out of jail or anything like that. Like I, I don't have the patience for that. And it's like I've already lost enough. You understand? Like and it's like you're stepping into the unknown and going into the storm with this situation. And it's someone telling you, like, baby, um, especially if this man is not someone that you need to have around and stand up in the forefront. If this is not like the father of your kids that got locked up like shit, even if it is the father of your kids that got locked up. Like, this motherfucker knew what he was doing when he was out in the streets doing what he was doing. And you knew what the fuck he was doing as well. So you knew that this day was come. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, now you in a situation where it's like, okay, there's a dead end to all of the money, the glamour, the glitz, the, the fortune, the fame, and all, all that shit is wrapped up. That shit is dried up. Now you walking into the unknown. Now it's time for you to, you know, go into the storm. This person is going into incarceration or whatever, and the money, you ain't... You you ain't get it back. Like, y'all not living like you thought you would. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm also seeing that there as well. Oh, my goodness. What is this? The temptation in the reverse. Oh, my gracious. And then the tower. Oh, my God. Really? Is there another card that flew out? Oh, 
Ay, Dios mijo. Okay. So we got the temptation in the reverse. And then we got the tower. <sighs> so the temptation in the reverse represents some form of weakness. Like you giving in to like a desire. Like a want. Like a craving. An itch. You know. You see the devil looming right on over top of that. The, tem the temperance in the, up in the upright is someone that is being strong, that is holding on to their faith, that is trusting their future, that is, you know, studying the principle of their worth, that's honoring their self, that is allowing their self to be washed in the pool of the gifted and the spirit, <laughs> in the spiritual pools and all of that stuff like that. It's like you're bathing yourself with your spirit, with your spiritual beliefs. You're not letting the devil get to you. You're not letting your temptations. You're not allowing that shit to affect, to affect, afflict you or affect you anymore. In the reverse, this is someone that is not resting on their faith or not relying on their faith. This is this is someone that is allowing their temptations to beat them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or someone that completely has a lack of faith or no sense of belief in anything. You understand? And this tower in reverse, there's something that's going to happen quick and unexpected that you don't see coming that is going to release a whole lot of chaos into your life. And that's why that storm is there. That's why that storm is there. So let me read this another way. If you're a woman, If you're a woman, Leo, if you're feeling emotionally distraught, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling hurt, if you're feeling lonely, if you were left in a situation where you're in like financial lack or financial ruin, um, this is someone who feel like someone stole something from them, like I was robbed. I was cheated. I was robbed. I was cheated. This is the last straw. This is the dead end. You got me boxed in now where it's like, now nah, I don't even fucking trust you. I don't have no faith in you right now with this temperance card in the reverse. I won't even... It's like, I'm not stupid enough. Do you, okay, do you see how the devil is trying to tempt Adam and Eve and to, to, to eat from the forbidden, the tree with the forbidden fruits and shit like that? With this being in the reverse, with this right here, it's like, not having no faith is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Because... You know something that's coming that you can't avoid. And that's the storm. And it's like you're going into the unknown because it's like you boxed in. And you reached the dead end or someone reached the dead end with you. And it might be that you might just have to cut somebody off or walk away. Because it's like I feel like you don't, you can see through the shadows. It's like you don't believe a facade anymore because someone tried to manipulate and use you and kind of get you for what the nine of coins and the seven of coins right here this is someone being robbed and being taken for granted and being manipulated and something they're worth being stolen from up under their feet because it's like I want to say Because it's some type of lack of faith or it was something about like low hanging fruit because you could be easily tempted. Like you easily believe the con or something like that. And it's like this, whoever this was that did this to you, they knew that you didn't see this coming with the tower. And that's why they try to hurry up and get away before... Like, everything just came crashing down. And it could have been a Aquarius.
and like I said before, have it be if you're a female or male, someone could have did this to you and they've reached the dead end with you because you got they got you boxed in right now. Were well, you about to go into the unknown? Where well, you don't even give a fuck if they're in your life anymore because this is the beginning of the storm. Like someone got you fucked up. And it's like someone is very emotionally hurt by this. I want to get a little bit more, please. Give me something on the mentor, please. What's the mentor's guidance? What's the mentor's role? What's the mentor's guidance? What's the mentor's guidance? What's the mentor's role? if you guys kind of got taken advantage by the mentor by someone that was supposed to be your mentor and y'all came into a dead road like did, is, was this a mentor that someone that was supposed to be trying to mentor you I feel like this was someone that you was looking up to. And with this page of swords in the reverse, it's like saying that you should have did a little bit more research before you kind of trusted this person. Because with this four of cups in the reverse, it's like whatever you trying to offer to them or, or, or whatever they trying to offer you now, like you both don't want whatever it is from each other. Y'all both got your backs turned to each other. I feel like you're not talking to... Because I'm like, what is this? Because I'm like, why would I ask what's the mentor's role? Like, why would I ask that? You know what I'm saying? Like, clearly the mentor's role is the mentor. But for me to have asked spirit, to felt the need to ask the spirit, what is the mentor's role in this? That says something to me. Give me guidance on this queen of cups, please. What's the advice? Because this is someone that's hurt. judgment in reverse like whoever hurt you I don't know this is the Leo's reading so I don't know if for a Leo cause like I'm getting a whole bunch of downloads of different scenarios I'm getting somebody in jail someone like in doing street shit and their time is up you understand what I'm saying so like you knew that this person was going to go to jail like, so if you waiting for the judgment in this court case, like your husband got caught or your boyfriend, your baby father got caught. This person was hustling, was doing street shit, was getting money underhanded or something like that. I don't know if they try to short someone or they try to rob someone. And it was like some crazy shit that popped out. That temperance in the reverse and in the tower. Like I'm saying, all of that shit came out. All of that shit came down and it erupted into an explosion. Like I'm seeing a lot of fire. So there could have been like some gunfire. Like there could have been some crazy shit that happened that your baby father or whoever got something to do with. Like, this person don't live by the law with that temperance reverse, with that devil sitting there like that. Like, this person live, live dirty. And all of that shit is caught up to them. And they're going to seek a hefty fine. They're, they're, they're going to seek their, their, their judgment day is coming down on them. So, if you are emotionally distraught and you're sad and you're feeling weak and you're feeling lonely and all of that stuff like that. All of the money is gone and went to lawyer fees and all. And you can't recoup none of the money back. And you need to regain your faith and your and your your wisdom and your guidance. I know you really didn't see this coming, but you knew it was coming eventually. You knew Judgment Day was coming. And you knew when it come, then shit wasn't going to come in y'all's favor. So you already know. The King of Cups in the reverse, like, 
this person and then look look at this person look, look at how he looking back at her i don't know i don't know why i don't like the way he looking back at her but the king of cups in the reverse i feel like number one this was someone who had you where you didn't know emotionally left or right where you was going in the situation anyway. So I feel like this is someone that emotionally left you hanging. That's number one. And number two, I feel like this person isn't around because they got caught up into some other shit. And or this is someone who backstabbed and betrayed you that manipulated you and robbed you and took advantage of you in some type of way. And... Before you listen to the mentoring of this person, you should have did a little bit more research because now you can't recoup your money. You feel like you've been robbed. You feel like there's a loss. There might have been a lack of judgment in dealing with someone who gave so little. See, the, 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 the Knight of Cups in the reverse is someone that is extremely emotionally fickle like they don't they really don't know how to express their emotions and like they're a playboy they are a charmer they know they have good looks they use that to emotionally manipulate people and things like that and like i said you could have been low hanging fruit this person knew that you would have been gullible Maybe they felt like there was a lack of judgment. Like they knew that they could come through and get you for all your goods. Con you have you believing that you're investing. Like this this person could have even got you caught up in like some pyramid get rich quick scheme. Where they talked you into giving money. Oh no, you going to get your money back and all. And you don't get nothing. It's like low hanging fruit. Like they knew that you would be easily tempted and that you wouldn't see this coming. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like to some aspect this can have to do with you needing to wake up and realize that there was a lack of judgment. And your mentor is probably telling you that Paige is Swords, you should have did more research before you just decide to just to offer somebody something that wasn't offering shit to you. And now both of y'all got your backs turned to each other. And now you're feeling robbed and manipulated. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So let's go into love. Because I know that was a lot right there. The gnosis. The unknowing. Sometimes we come into these roadblocks in our lives. And it's like, okay. I done been through... I need to go through here. It's time for me to step into the fucking unknown. You know? Even if I'm walking into the storm, it ain't going to rain all the, all the time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes walking into the storm is cleansing. Wash you off. You understand what I'm saying? You felt boxed in. Like, you stepped into the unknown. And you unknowingly stepped into the storm. Dealing with whoever this was and whatever they did, whoever it is, that's the end of it. They hit a dead road with you. Whatever you had or whatever you got, you don't got no more to give. The diamond in reverse, like, there was no promise. There was really no whatever... This person kind of conned you out of. It's like there was real no promise or commitment in the return on it. The tidal wave. This person just came through and just kind of caused a disturbance in your life. And I don't know if someone stole your jewelry or something like that. It's like it slowed down your transition. It's like you had doors open but because you got suckered into a false promise it caused a tidal wave into your life and the doors that was open to you closed because they didn't want you to let this shit in with you you understand mushrooms the daydream in reverse it's like you gotta stop daydreaming it's like like i told you somebody was low hanging fruit easily picked on 
it's like someone getting sucked into some type of illusion thinking that they were going to get some type of satisfaction it just was not there and it's like once you actually got a good bite into it you realize that you didn't like the taste at all uh leo i don't like this give me guidance so what's coming in the future for love what's the future outcome in love please thank you what's the future outcome in love loyalty the ugly duckling grew up to be a swan i feel like you learned a very great lesson here and that's why you hit the dead end and i feel like that's why god kind of got you boxed in and caged in like that so he could mentor you to teach you you need to do a little bit more research before you just offer a shit to someone that you're not sure that's going to be receptive to what you're giving that's what the Four of Cups is. Someone offering something that they think might be rejected. And it looks like you offered something to someone that played with you like they were going to accept it. Only to con, scan them and manipulate you. And, you know, because of your lack of judgment. Because it's like, with that... Temperance in reverse is because you didn't have any sense of value, sense of faith in your own belief in yourself. It's like you would easily believe what anyone tell you because you didn't have no sense of your own direction. So you'll easily be misled. You easily would let a disturbance, a tidal wave come in. Someone could just feed you fairy tales and tell you that the taste is sweet and you believed it and you tried it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, mm -mm. information, information, I feel like, um, be careful of the music that you listen to, I feel like someone listens to the life that is being manifested in front of you, it has a lot to do with the music that you're listening to. If you listening to that city girl ass, Megan and Stallion ass music, you gonna manifest a life just like that. Ghetto ass, trifling ass, hood ass drama. If you want love, you need to listen to songs that actually depict and give you that feeling and that emotion of love. That's what you need. That's the information that you need to pump through your heart. I feel like... You need to pay attention to the music that you're listening to. You know, listen to a little slow down. Girl, let me love you. You better turn on that uh, Bob Marley song and her. I love that song, girl. That's my jam. Umbrella, shelter. Right now, you're being sheltered from the storm. I'm trying to tell you. And remember, I told you that Leo had went through some shit in 18 and in 19. Well, Leo knows when they hit a dead end or when someone has hit a dead end with them because they don't like to feel boxed in and they don't have no problem with going into the notion and going into the gnosis, you know, to evade the storm. It's like taking a detour from the storm. Like whatever this shit was, you didn't see it coming. But it's like, you got me fucked up and you got me boxed in. I'm going to go ahead and have to take a left on you, my nigga. Because I already see this storm coming. I ain't even about to fuck with it. This was just a lack of judgment situation for me because I was just believing whatever you do, you put out there. Because the Knight of Cups, they make shit sound so good and so sweet and so real. Like, that's what they do. You understand? This person fed you a fake promise that you thought was real and it wasn't. It was just a disturbance in your life. And it didn't taste like nothing that they told you was going to taste like. But now you understand what loyalty and now you understand what to listen to and what to feed your heart. You're a little bit more careful of the selected music that you allow to pump through your ears that go through your heart. Remember what I told y'all about those tools, y'all. 
pay attention to those tools what you watch what you listen to who you talking to what you saying what you creating with your hands and how you moving and your heart's intentions all of that is your tools and the way you use your eyes your ears your mouth your hands and your feet all control your heart God has put an umbrella around you listen you got a shelter throughout this storm right now you're good what is this 11 11 spiritual awakening you are on the right path so if someone got you boxed in caged in if you don't got yourself in a situation it looks like spirit is here to vent for you and also i want to point out to you guys Please be careful of who you're taking uh, guidance from because a lot of people do get into work situation, business situations, like spiritual guidance situations, just situation situations where they think that they're being guided by and mentored by someone that really care about them. And really, they should have done a little bit more research. It's like this person don't know what they're talking about or they, they're, they're trying to rob you. They're trying to con you like they really don't mean you no well. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this could easily be because remember, I was talking about some street shit. So like this could be down to the fact that the person that was mentoring you and teaching you how to move and how to get shit done and yeah the person that was mentoring you could have very much been so the one that set you up you understand like this is someone who could have felt like they got robbed by their mentor and it's like because i'm looking at this and it's like you should you should have did more research to figure out who the fuck you was listening to. You should have figured out who you was listening to, because now you're trying to come back and you want this person to show that they care with these cups, like it's, because it's like this mentor. It's like you're being mentored by somebody. It's like you think that this person care about you. They want, they focus on your well-being and, and shit like that. No, they're actually not focused on their well-being. They're focused on... They're not focused on your well-being. They're focused on their well-being. There's only one standing cup right here on these four cups. And then, you know, the five of cups is someone going into emotional... Dis that's emotionally distraught that went through a loss. You understand that suffering from some type of breakup or some type of just fucked up action, something that they're regretting, you know what I'm saying? So you're at the four cups going to the five of cups. So it's like you going back to this person like, well, can I at least get my money back or what I invested in? Like, no, motherfucker, you know the game. <laughs> and now you're like regretting even dealing with this motherfucker at all. What is this? A trip out of the country. Some of you feeling like you might need to take a trip or vacation or possibly move uh to get a more stable work environment four the four clubs represent work like a permanent work situation like a secure work environment so you guys and then the three three like that's like the number of creation of self-expression of imagination of communication being social so it's very much so that whatever your environment is right now I feel like you feel boxed in I feel like if you was to move and take yourself to a different environment like it says the notions going going into the unknown you want to avoid the storm right here it's like you know better you already know from before and we're avoiding this because we already experienced this it's like i'm just going to fucking move like i'm not going to stand here and watch the storm come my way i'm just going to avoid this shit y'all already showing me how y'all moving and what type of energy y'all are y'all are doing here like i'd rather just move somewhere where there's a little bit more loyalty where i can be more successful because y'all fed me some bullshit that y'all told me would taste better and it didn't. So, like, I don't even want to be around y'all motherfuckers. So, y'all could be moving. What is this? Reconciliation. The five of um 
diamonds represents uh, the five of diamonds represents uh, spiritual awareness, um, like as above, so below, so below, as above, so below. And then what is this? Absence. It's just like um, someone giving someone a silent treatment. So let me read the card of May and see. Then I read the um, Lenormand. So what does this say to me with this four of clubs, five of diamonds, six of diamonds? Um, the trip to the country, 33, four, four clubs. There's better opportunities for you elsewhere. There's work opportunities for people that are actually going to work with you, that are actually loyal that mean what they say and say what they mean so that your work can result in diamonds. Whoever this was that was mentoring you, whoever this was that you had faith in, whoever this was that considered you low-hanging fruit and took advantage of you and fed you this false promise that didn't result in no diamonds. Do you understand? You put the work in so that you can produce diamonds. You ain't get shit. You understand? Look at how this person is looking back at this girl. You trust him? It's like I'm going half in on a baby with you and, and you, you, you just like fucking up. Like it, it was just like half, like, I'm sorry y'all because my child just walked in and just threw me off. Anyway, so basically this person is feeling like I learned what you put out, you get back. You got to be a better judge of character. Um, I don't went through a person where I thought I could trust. And I realized that I maybe should not have put so much trust in that. So that's where I had to grow and reconnect myself with spiritual with my level of spiritual awareness before I just shake hands with people. The number three, like I said, that represents communication. The number eight represents responsibility. It represents management. It represents giving and receiving. It represents ambition. You know? So, it's like... Before I just be ambitious and I just jump out there and I allow people to come into my life and I create this kind of giving and receiving cycle. And, you know, the number eight also represents the infinity sign manifestation. Before I try to build something that's going that I'm thinking that's going to grow with people that's going to be loyal and that's going to work with me. I need to vet these motherfuckers out a little bit better and pay attention to who I'm shaking hands with. Because as above, so below. What you put out, you get back. And you got to start listening to people and what they say and paying attention to who you shaking hands with. Because they might be giving you some. Because do you see how both of these people got swords on the side of them? For some reason... Because diamonds represent communication too. Someone said something and did something where they felt like they had to come to the table and shake hands armed. You know? Something ended up happening. And whatever hard le lessons that you learned yesterday, you know better today. You learned better today. And you've cut these people off. The six of diamonds represents silence. Represents cut off stagnation. Um, a refusal to communicate. A, a lesson learned. A lesson learned. And then that's the number three again. This is with someone that you were trying to create something with. This, I'm sorry, this is like a lot of love. I'm pretty sure you can read this. I mean, this is a lot of like work and, and just like personal shit here. Like, I don't know. 
I'm really feeling like this is this is this could very much so be a love situation, but I'm feeling like this is not a love situation. This is a work situation, like big time. And someone just bounced. They just said, I'm taking a trip to the country to recast. Because it's like, I got something better going for me with people that are more loyal and that are more committed. And I learned a lot from this situation. And I'm moving on. I'm never talking to y'all again. I already know not to shake hands with the enemy anymore. I'm moving on because I got a better chance for me over here. That's actually going to amount to something. It's like, I'm never talking to you again. Give me one more spread. Tell me about love because I feel like this. But I know a lot of this is going to resonate for love with people. Because this could very much resonate with love. Oh, in regards to love, you're going to get some communication. You're going to get a text message. You're going to get, uh, what's some damn things? What's some damn things? Messenger messages and all of that shit. Instagram messages. Weakness. I feel like you're going to get some type of like surprise communication from someone in regards to love. But I feel like you're going to be so sick and distraught from still from dealing with this loss of money it's, it has to do with a loss of money and someone taking advantage of you financially it's about your time and your money it's about your time and your money and you trusting people that's a lot what is this yeah because you went through a quarrel you went through a battle you went through a conflict with someone that you thought was your sincere friend pensioner it's like you you paid into something thinking that you were going to get an investment back. You thought that you were going to get an investment back. But anyway, y'all, let me hop the fuck up out of here because I could be reading these cards all motherfucking day. Give me one more card. The consultant. The consultant. Um, I feel like a third party is going to come into this situation. I feel like this is something that has... Now, this has to do with love. Um, someone is going to help you kind of bridge the gap, you know, between what happened then, where you're standing at now, and where you're trying to go in the future. I feel like you really just kind of need someone to kind of give you that nurturing energy to remember how I was saying, like how that Queen of Cups is up here, how she like sits in the background, like she don't be trying to outsmart uh out action or out earn her man she just want to support and love and, and 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 give to her man i feel like you are going to get some type of communication from someone that's going to be an added expert into the situation that's going to be able to try to give you some type of nurturing love and advice because right now I feel like whoever this is is like completely emotionally sick and if this is a man I can definitely see this because you know how it feels for someone that you trusted and you thought was a loyal friend that you were going into some business with and this motherfucker they made it seem like they were teaching you the game only to rob you blind. And you could have went to jail and ended up taking a charge for somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like kind of how I'm reading this shit. And it, like, I would be sick. I would be fucked up. I would need some type of love and emotional support. And, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, y'all help me make this make sense. I told y'all what it seemed like to me. Y'all let me know how it resonated for you, Leo. I love you. I will see you later. Peace. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button.